Thanks, Kylie. I think that's quite an intro. But yes, it is time for Cash Cow's Millions. Thanks to Crown. If you've just joined us, this is our fourth game. And our total so far that Crown has donated for this segment is $150,000. And it's just going to keep on growing because we've got 10 of these games across the weekend. I'm with John from Crown. John, we've had a few uh, croupiers so far. What is it that you do at Crown? Uh, well, I'm a training coordinator for the security department at Crown Perth. Excellent. So different role to the other ones we've had, but uh, we thank you so much for your support. We really appreciate you being here. And your job now, initially, is to show us who's playing this next game. So can you open the envelope, please, and pass it over, and I'll reveal the name. So we've got a couple of Home and Away and a couple of Sunrise. Would you welcome Charlie and Isabella from Home and Away and Sam Mack and Koshi from Sunrise. Come on out, guys. Okay, here's Charlie and Isabella. Where are your opponents? Sam Mack and Koshi, bring them out. Oh, they're just, they're, I think there's tactics going on here. Stalling tactics already. Yeah, mind, mind games, they're trying to mess with us. Look at the Sunrise blokes. They're in their suits and their black ties and their stalling tactics already. What's got you two look like you've got your serious game face on already? We have, we're focusing. I take this very seriously. I think this should be an Olympic sport. It's a matter of when, not if. Okay, it's going to be an Olympic sport in about 2048. So it's called Pen in the Bottle. And so can you guys please reveal the fact that you are wearing string around your waist with a pen and we're putting a bottle behind each of them. So can you, can you please give your... Are they giving their backs to the audience? I think they should. Let's give backs to the audience with a bottle behind. And when I say go, the simple rule here is... You, the first person to get the pen properly immersed in the bottle will win, and then they'll get to open a briefcase to reveal an amount of money. Is Koshi having a little bit of a waste issue with his pen? Now, no one's starting, just getting ready. Sam Max just had a bit of a malfunction with his phone. Why have you got your phone out? Oh, photos. Oh, oh, right, right. It's all about social media. Hang on, Koshi, stand up. Everyone standing up straight, please. Stand up straight. Stand to attention. Ready, set, go! Let's see who can get it in the bottle first. Properly immersed in the bottle. Isabella's very close. Koshi! Koshi! The underdog, I think it's fair to say. <laughs> Koshi. You were, Isabella was so close straight off the bat. Koshi. Whoops, we've kicked the bottle over. I hope you don't mind me saying, but I did, I, I did consider you an underdog. <laughs> what do you mean? I just, I thought, look at these, the these flexible young Look's things. <laughs> look at this. Look how happy he is to have won. He, oh, he's elated, clearly. <laughs> he, it's the best thing that's happened to him since he got up at 3 a.m. Um, <laughs> Koshi, that's a fantastic well, achievement. Up. And the middle-aged Australia mate. is saying yes for the squads. What are you trying to say? Well, I'm putting myself in the yeah, same middle-aged right. vintage. All right. All right, now, Koshi, this is the serious right. part, though. So, folks, we're on $150,000. You get to choose a briefcase. Which one do you want to choose? I'm feeling... I'm feeling seven. Seven. It's the seven network. Seven. Okay, let's come over here. For channel seven, in briefcase number seven, what can you show us? $50,000! Open them all up, guys. What else did we have? $50,000. Koshi's tangled up with his pen around his waist. That gives our crown total so far this Telethon 2016, $200,000. Thank you so much to our friends at Crown. That's our final Cash Cow Millions for tonight. We have six more games tomorrow. So much more fun, and the total is just going to keep rising. Keep donating, folks. We're going home for some sleep. We'll see you back tomorrow.